three, two, one. Hello, Lord Tony. Good to have you on. Oh, man. Hey, what's, what's up? How you doing? I'm good. How are you? Good. Um, it's finally. Uh, it's good to have you on. I'm glad that you uh, made room for me tonight rather than on the weekend. Uh, because I'd like to get this out of the way. I've been really. Uh, I've actually been looking forward to this chat for a while. <laughs> Um, yeah. As a lot of uh, my gimmicks nation have as well, but first, uh, Stranger Things, man, that's down, that's gone. What do you think about that? Yeah, I, I mean, I just heard about it today, and like, well, I've been wanting to get Demogorgon for his perks because I wanted Surge, right? But I was mm. like waiting for it to go on sale, and this sounds like the best time to get it now. So, yeah, yeah, exactly. It's just a shame, man, because um, a lot of people were saying in the stream that well. You know, Stranger Things is gone now. Everything's on a timed, you know, it's a timed agreement and things like right. that. So a lot of people are suspecting because of that, maybe Ash is the next one to go. And that would be a, right. a real shame, man. That'd be a real shame. Well, the shitty part is, oh, I guess, I guess we're right. Sorry. Yeah, 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 of course. Yeah, oh, <laughs> go yeah. for it, man. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> so anyways, the, sh the shitty part was uh, we're losing Hawkins map. And that was like the best map for killers, I think. One of one of a lot of people disagree yes. with that, but yes, I agree. I mean, I, I I heavily think it's like one of the best maps for killers, except for like you know, El Billy or whatever. But Billy, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but that sucks. Like it could. I wish it was Haddonfield. <laughs> a lot of people. Uh, <laughs> a lot of people thought. I mean, like if the same treatment was done to RCPD for me personally, I'd be over the moon. I'd be cracking a bottle of champagne because I, no, I, I, I like I like the RCPD map. You you actually like, like that map, right? Because I I uh, use I made a slug build with the Nemesis, right? Right. So I used knock I used knockout. So because they can't find their friends, they'll just bleed out on that <laughs> map. <laughs> <laughs> that's like you you are a true killer at heart though 100 <laughs> percent. that they just can't find their friends you know yeah, that's they'll actually, just die that's actually really interesting <laughs> i've never thought about like that e before even with the like even with swift and Cobbs, they can't find their friends so <laughs> and and the zombies make it harder because the zombies block hallways yeah yeah so it makes it even harder for them to find their friends right okay well also what's fun <laughs> is uh, oh sorry no no go go um, go so what's funnier is so when a, so when the survivors knocked out, they're just gonna stand there till like the crows appear to help find them easier, right? Yeah. The thing is, those zombies are attracted to crows, so the zombies will just like stand next to their dying bodies, right? I did then, not so know when, that. I did not know that I, about I, crows. I noticed it before because like uh, so the zombie would walk away, and then the crow, like notification noise will go off, and then the zombie yeah. would go right back. So. <laughs> That's even funnier than with knockout because then when the so when the survivor comes by the heal their friend the zombie's right on top. Yeah. So. You you've you've probably just opened up like a new build for a lot of people. Like oh, I, 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 can I share it. It's, I have not I have not ever thought about that at all, and I don't know if that makes me a good killer anymore or not. I I think it's really broken sometimes. <laughs> but... We'll call it the Lord Tony slug build, and that's it. <laughs> RCPD Tony. We'll call it that. Um, but just to give people a brief explanation of who Lord Tony is, um, I know a lot of people, you know, may not know him from my circles. I mean, you should by now, but basically he is a streamer, content creator. He has had tie-ins with other things. We're going to get into that down the road. Um, maybe even a minor celebrity in my, in my view. Um, he does stream on Twitch, uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Fridays, and Sundays at 3 PM mm -hmm. till 12 AM average Eastern standard time. Um, yep. however... He does have a YouTube channel as well. He did say he's going to start picking up some content on there. So links will all be in the description and come up on screen as well um, for you guys to check him out. However, the first and initial experience I had with him is when I created a series called Dead By. Um, it was it was supposed to be just a joke, you know, sort of a, you know, uh, the why version of the forums. It was supposed to be a copycat of that. And I came across a couple of people, Lord Tony being the most notable one, with just his absolute killer way of thinking um and there's nothing wrong with that by the way there, there's totally nothing wrong with that there was lord tony and everyone was like oh yeah he's the killer champion that we we all need and then there was sluzzy which is like the survivor champion and i created this whole thing where it was sluzzy versus lord tony and they just they, they come together it never actually happened even though sluzzy just returned to the forums yesterday 
Um, he got is, banned, right? He got time banned for three months, yeah. Because uh, he actually did give it back to the devs, which is pretty funny. Um, but I'm actually very close to getting banned myself. Well, be careful. Permanently. Please, well, we need you, so please don't do that. <laughs> um, so I want you just to talk about what you what what you do on the forums is it is it trolling is it real are they all your opinions i, mean, I would i would say it's like half half like, and half yeah i mean it's most of it i really hate survivors and i really hate how like some features feel survivor sided no there's a lot of features so. that feel survivor sided it, it's not a feeling <laughs> it is 100% yeah it is i mean i'm I, it depends though, because there's survivor sided and then there's survivor friend sided. And right. The if, the Swift I fucking hate Swift so much right now. I think it's like ruining the game, to be honest. It's because like there's only there's only two killers that can really com compete against Swift. Yeah. So Yeah. Blight Blight for me is a close third and Hag as well, but yeah, you're talking about Spirit and Nurse. Yeah. So Yeah, yeah. So but how, how do you how do you how do you feel about that? Like, um, do you always run Spirit of Nurse? Like, I noticed I was watching your stream the other night, and oh, you were I, playing Trickster. Nurse. Yeah. Oh, uh, I was try, trying out his new buffs, and he's he's actually pretty good. But I think it was the skill based matchmaking, because my first game with Trickster, it was just I just slaughtered them. Yeah. I think it was just skill based matchmaking. So I don't know if it's actually Trickster or is it the survivors uh, at that point. So. Mm. Yeah, no. That's like, I was like, I was, I was like wondering why these survivors are doing this. Like, why are they playing so bad? So, uh, they honestly, I watched the first match. They weren't playing so bad. They just got a little bit. They were smashing out the gens in that first particular match. And I'll show some B roll for everyone yeah. as well. And mostly there was, was that a, the yeah, that was um, I think it was the Hawkins one, right, right, Hawkins. But the thing is, they got cocky. After they did about three gens, and then they started running in and thinking they could loop you. Well, I mean, zero. I am playing Trickster, so they probably got, they probably thought, oh, it's Trickster, we're gonna win. Yeah, exactly. No, exactly. They thought, <laughs> oh yeah, he's we've popped three gens, he's only got two hooks, we're, we're fine. But then they kept running towards oh, hooks in front of you, which was a bit stupid. I turned that shit around pretty fast. <laughs> <laughs> now, well, while we're on the subject of you know sort of playing killer and things like that, how what are your thoughts and opinions? Your honest to god thoughts and opinions on slugging? on camping how do you feel about those does it make you feel toxic I, do you think it's toxic behavior i think it's okay I, I think it's like fair game at this point because so i mean they're gonna get gens done like pretty fast and the maps are so big at this point and there's only like a few killers that have mobility right so if i'm playing trickster i'm not gonna like slowly walk across the map to patrol this gen it's just gonna pop off so why not just let the survivors come to me you know like, like if I'm playing Spirit though, I don't need to, I don't need to camp. Yeah, she she moves so fast, and like same with Wraith, but like with Trickster, I have to camp at that point. Yeah. <laughs> no. Yeah, I mean, I'm a I'm a demogorgon main, and it makes things hard at times, just with in general of getting just getting map pressure in general. Like you've got your portals and things like that, but again, you can just pick someone like the Spirit or the Nurse, and you, you're fine. I I feel like all killers should have like some kind of mobility going on in some way, but apparently that's not the case. So, what are your what are your overall thoughts on the trickster change? What would you have done differently, and do you think um, it's fine? Okay, so first I hated the laceration decay, but then they just buffed it again. So I think that's fine, but I would personally would rather have it not decay. And then it would just be like like a mending thing or something. Yeah, I've heard that a few times. I th I, everyone thought they were going to go that way, but for some reason it didn't. Right, and because uh, that creates pressure, and I don't. That for some reason, it seems like we're steering away from that with killers. Right, I mean, but that's why like genders going to buy so quick. Exactly. So because you'd have something to do and, to not get on a gen. At least Legion has that. Right. Um. I think. Well, they should really maybe either get rid of the lullaby or like change it or something, mm. you know. But I mean, I think overall the, the the buff seems okay. I mean, I was like down in survivors pretty fast. Yeah, you can, you can definitely. He's a lot. He, he's like like easier to play now than he was before. Yeah, I'd say he's, release. He's better. I mean, personally, myself, I only run iridescent photocard with him. 
and it just you just carve people through butter and ignore the exhaustion as well. It's quite a good add-on. Oh, that's awesome. I gotta try that. All you have to do is throw four daggers, and it gets them into that effect of iridescent photocard, and then you just M1 them with your bat. They're down instantly. That okay. means they don't get a dead heart, don't get a sprint burst, none of that crap. You just instantly down well, them. It sounds like though the clown pinky finger is better than clown pinky finger is obviously better. Yeah, but yeah. That, that's clown, and that's I mean all these killers are in the same. The one v one's really good, I think, but there's no map pressure. Right, right. Like that's that's well, I mean clown can clown can do well against multiple survivors. Like um, so I was camping basement one time, and I just threw like a like I had like I think two hindered add-ons with clown. Mm -hmm. I I, th I don't remember. Mm -hmm. Does he have two hindered add-ons? I think so. Green and a yellow. Yeah. Yeah. So I threw one in the basement, and then uh, so the survivors going for the unhook, but they didn't realize how slow they'd be. Uh, yeah, so I just yeah. start like, so I just start like downing every survivor that's like going in the basement. And then the, their their friend gets unhooked, and then I just down them again. So when, when you play, whenever you're streaming or whatever, or even playing in your private time, do you just have a no mercy policy? Is that, is that pretty much how you play? You're there. To I, I, have, I have never given that a uh, survive the hatch. You've never. <laughs> <laughs> I so love it. I, I love it. I have never let someone live like, uh, well, I mean, there was like occasionally I have like, um, so like if I'm just trying to do some really dumb challenge, I think like, I don't know, like getting like six bear traps or something. Then yeah, if yeah. the survivors cooperate, I'll let them live. Yeah. But other than that, no, I'm just going to kill them. So So what? what is the win condition for Lord Tony? Uh, I mean, I would personally 4K. <laughs> like, I think I need to start listening I, to you a bit more. <laughs> like, uh, let's see, 3K, I guess. But like, I mean, I don't, I don't really count them getting hatch as a win. I don't feel like they won. Yeah, if they ever get hatch, so, so I guess like three to four. I'd never see two as a as a win. So. Okay. Um, I want to go into when you first started playing DBD. Uh, why mm. you picked it up and how long you've been playing. Uh, let's see. Oh, I started. Well, there's like a free weekend. It was around the blight event. Don't and, uh, you, actually, you only started then. Yeah, that's the only one Holy I started. Crap. That was that was last year. Yeah. So, but I played uh, right now for a thousand hours. Wow. At the moment. Yeah. Uh, when I started, I was actually playing Survivor. Yeah, I think everyone. So was. I actually I actually bought Ash before I actually bought the game. Yep. So <laughs> I thought that was pretty funny. Yeah. And uh, uh, so I was playing with my friends and we're doing Survivor stuff and uh, like I. But like after that, I just like really wanted to try Killer instead. Yeah. Because I thought like like holding M1 on the generator is boring. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I just didn't like. Plus, I I got tired of getting scared by Ghostface. So. <laughs> Fair enough. So you know, I just got tired of like the jump scares and stuff, and then I just wanted to do the jump scares. So. You wanted to be the bad guy. Right. There's nothing wrong with that. Did you grow up enjoying? Like slashes, horror. Um. Well, like mostly. I mean, I don't like. I mean, I personally, I like Halloween three, not Halloween one and two. Okay. You know, nice. season of the witch. Yeah. I like more, more like that kind of horror. But I yeah. mean, I started getting into it after the game. Like um, like recently, I just started watching Hellraiser again. Yeah, I, I've because yeah. of, because of the new DLC coming out. So. Yeah. Um, I did like the Scream series. Yeah. And uh, I did watch... Uh, well, I mean, I pretty much watched all of them except for Stranger Things, so... You haven't watched Stranger Things? But, no, I, I mean, I don't have Netflix, so... That doesn't mean you can't watch it. <laughs> <laughs> I guess. It's good. It's good. It's If you if you like 80s, that sort of era, yeah, you'll dig it. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's pretty cool. Characters are cool, the, too. Well, I have to check it out now since uh, you know the games yeah, like cool. they're taking it away. So hey, man, at least you finally got a legacy item. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you got those legacy cosmetics right there. Um. So yeah, just going back to the forums though, because yeah, I did this Dead by series. Are you aware of that series at all? Uh, yeah. I, I, well, I when I was doing Twitch, um, 
some people on the Twitch are like, hey, you're on uh, Mr. Gim's videos. I'm like, okay, <laughs> I'll check it out. <laughs> What, what what does that what what does that make you feel though when someone else is made like you've become famous in my community for being Lord right. like Lord Tony and it seems like you weren't even aware of that for a while like how does that I make you not, feel is that is that strange well, uh, honestly I'm I'm used to it at this point so yeah I want to talk I want to talk about that a little bit as well but um because you mentioned earlier before we started recording that you've done some work with Adult Swim right right. Um, yeah, okay, so, um, I was on a couple, there's, well, like, when they were doing streams, they are doing, like, Fish Center, like, Swap Shop, uh, Stupid more Bullshit, I was, like, doing, I was, like, on their shows, like, actually on their shows. Yeah. And, uh, I also went down to Georgia to do some shooting for, like, a TV show called Daytime Fighting League. Yeah. So, I mean, that, that was pretty fun, but, yeah, like, I've been on, like, actual shows for them. That that's pretty incredible, yeah. Because you showed me that um, the the clip. I I didn't get to watch all of it because I was at work. But I'm gonna be showing. Oh, some I lost B-roll. anyway. So, <laughs> but can you explain exactly what you were doing in that particular show? Like, what was happening? Okay, so it's it's kind of like wrestling. I mean, it's more real than American wrestling. Yeah, but uh, <laughs> like, okay, so I had to sit on some guy's lap, and I'm competing with another guy sitting on some guy's lap. <laughs> And whoever sits on the guy's lap the longest wins. Yeah. That, so that, that's that's pretty much it. Yeah. That, that's pretty cool. And what I, other what other kind of work have you done with him? Um. Let's see. I was on Fish Center, so that was those, which is a talk show about fish. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and the fish play games and stuff, but like, I I did a lot of stuff with them. Have you ever met anyone famous through all these sorts of ventures? Um, okay, so I met, um, so I met the head of Adult Swim, Mike Lazo. Yeah. So that, that was pretty cool. Um, I met, uh, Greg Turkenton, Turkenton, also known as, like, Neil Hamburger. Yeah. I met, I met, uh, like, Alan Resnick from Brent, William City. Yeah. And then, uh, uh, Mike J from Postal 2, which is the developer of the game. Right, yeah. So, yeah, but, so, like, you know, just. Yeah, go ahead. Sorry. P- Postal One, I grew. I, I, I was. That was very early on. I think that was like twenty two thousand and three or something like that. Uh, no, I think and... it was nineteen ninety six. Oh shit! Okay, maybe that's the second one in two thousand three. Then maybe I got that wrong. Um, uh, yeah, Postal Two. Yeah, yeah. I, I absolutely love those games. So you've met the head developer there, um, which is yeah. yeah. Can can you talk a little bit about that at all? Or... Yeah. Well, that that was crazy actually. So I was in. Uh... So I was in Vegas for the EDC event. It was a, the Electric Daisy Carnival. Yeah. And uh, so I just randomly meet this. Well, like I'm wearing my Postal Two shirt. So. <laughs> yeah. By and and then I see some other guys wearing their Postal Two shirts, and then we just connected at that point. And then I find out they're actually his entourage or something like that. Yeah. So then the the next day we uh we got together. And then I actually met uh Mike J himself. That's that's pretty and, cool, man. Yeah, we got to talk about the game and stuff. Actually, we got to talk about Postal 4 during that time. So I knew about it before anyone else knew about it. That's pretty sick. That that That's really cool. And so, yeah, so, yeah, because Postal has quite, like, the series have quite the, uh, I guess they're famous for the violence and stuff like that. Like, you've always yeah, been yeah. into that sort of genre of video game by the sounds of it. Yeah, uh, I play, like, a lot of violent video games. So. Yeah, what other what other games do you play? I just want to know. Uh, well, I guess like hatred. Yeah. Um, actually, let me look up my Steam list. That might be easier. So we got Doom. Doom's uh, classic. Wolf- yeah. 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 Wolfenstein, Fallout, uh, Quake. Quake's you know, good. You know, I don't like uh, you know uh, Call of Duty. I hate those games. To be honest with you. Fair enough. So. Oh, uh, Duke Nukem. So. Yeah, I, I know. Yeah, Duke Nukem. I grew up on Duke Nukem. Absolutely love it. Um. I need to do another one, personally. But yeah, yeah, Duke Nukem, absolutely love it. Love the, that same sort of cynical, funny, you know, sort of orientation as well as in Postal, I think. Yeah, with yeah. The, with the, you know, the quips and everything like that. I think it's very yeah, they're similar. they're both pretty, yeah, they're pretty similar. Yeah. I, I would say Dead by Daylight, though, was the first slasher I played. I think so, it's the first slasher I played, yeah. Unless you count, like, Hexen, so... 
Yeah, right. So, so yeah, you, you, you definitely like your violent video games, even though yeah, yeah. DVDs a little bit. Pff, probably needs to do that up a little bit. It do need more gore, I think. Yeah, hundred like, percent. Yeah, there's no fucking gore in the game. No, it looks garbage. It's outdated, and like you look at Hillbillies, Mori, and stuff like that now. It's like, well, like people said they can't because they'll get banned in countries, but like they could just censor that for those countries. You could, yeah. You, know? you just literally blur it out. Yeah, I mean, it'd be. I think lame. the most gore is. Yeah, I think I think the most gore is just the pinky. I mean, the finger that the clown rips off. Mm. Right. I think yeah. that's the only gore, really. I'd say that's the it's only... Like the, bear... Mm. the bear traps don't even, like, shatter their face or anything. It doesn't do anything. Yeah. Yeah, it's just it dumb. Just goes so. around their ankle and it's boring. Yeah. I don't think there's any gore, really, besides the finger. I mean, Death Slingers, Maury, he shoots it through their face and, it, like, you can see the blood splurt out, but that that's... It yeah, looks... He, like, he, like sho- he shoves it up their ass and then... <laughs> <laughs> uses her as a puppet <laughs> yeah i mean I, I do like that so do do you but, play any survivor anymore at all um only to do the challenges only to do it. the archives yeah and then once you're done with I that mean, that's, yeah i'm just done with survivor uh i didn't even do them for the i didn't even like bother getting their crowns either so mm. when they were doing the crown thing it was only just one more ring anyway mate it's not a big deal yeah I did all I did all the killer crowns though. Yeah. Um, no, I just I'm just I just can't deal with Survivor. It's like a waste of blood points. So. Yeah. Well, there's a lot of incentive to play killer in in a lot of regards, just because you know you do get more blood points as a killer in general. So. Yeah. Um. But it's also um it's harder to play in killer. I think. Do you think it's harder to play like, killer? Right. I I do because um. So first of all, uh, I was getting like survivor dips. I got like five survivor dips in one day, and mm-hmm. I wasn't even trying. I yeah. mean, I kind of was trying. But, like all I did was get a key and then use the hatch blueprint. Right. Right. And then I would just I would just hide in the basement the entire time, and that was it. <laughs> and, I, I, and, I was like, and I was like, this is so fucking boring. So. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Back, backtrack it a little bit. To get your adepts, you would just hide in the basement, wait for the hatch, yep. and then get it. And then just, and you know just, what? Yeah, just get it. I actually, like, a lot of people are going to be laughing their ass off of that with me. I actually love that you don't give a shit. Like, it, it, it is actually refreshing, and it annoys me because I sometimes I care too much. And yeah. there's this thing in the back of my head that says when it's happening, I'm like, dude, fuck him. Who gives a shit? Just, just kill him. Just do it. Yeah, <laughs> and like, yeah. you, like, I was actually just, I was actually just mad that the killer is not killing the other guy. Yeah. See, see, you. I just want the hatch open. I like that though. That you've let go and you've just gone. No, yeah. no, no, no. I'm in it for me now. That's it. So there, there's a trick to not have the crows pop up. You just, you just walk in a circle in the basement. Yeah, you can just and the, move. The crows will never pop. Yeah. yeah. So there will be no crow. Like, they should really, like, honestly, that just shows how broken Survivor is sometimes. That you can just do that. How would you fix that, though? Maybe, like, an AOE, you'd have to leave a certain area. Right. I think you would have to actually like, move and, like, actually, like, <laughs> leave. Or, like, if you're in the basement too long, eventually there would be, like, a pop up or something for the killer. Yeah. Like, like territorial imperative, but, like, it's, like, delayed. I got so, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So give them a bit of time, and then after that, right after yeah. that, then they should be like, like, like exposed or something. Or I don't know. Like I feel it's like, no, like also if crows. Good. I feel like if crows pop, then they should get exposed. Yeah, I like I like exposed because that gives that that will give any survivor incentive to leave. Right. Yeah. So I think that also a uh, hatch needs to be changed. We could talk about hatch Same. now if you want. Yeah, yeah, it's a massive. Yeah, issue. if you want to talk about hatch, we do that. Let's do it. I fucking hate hatch. So everyone hates. Wow, well, every killer hates hatch. Tell tell me what you think about hatch and what you would do to change it. Well, uh, first of all, it's not like when using the key, it should not be instant. You should at least have like an animation going on. Mm-hmm. Because if if I'm chasing the survivor who has the key and they're they're running towards the hatch, I can't do anything about it. Like no, it's not your I'm game, playing, it's their game. Right, I would, I would have to be playing Death Slayer and the survivor would have to be exposed. Yeah. Or already injured, and then I would be able to stop them. Yeah. But other than that, I can't do anything. It sucks. 
it's situations like these uh, where, I mean, I talk about this on stream all the time, but the power roll really doesn't seem with the killer. Like, um, right. it, it just, you, whoever has the key, he, he is literally making fun of you, whoever that player is. It, it, he's just like, right. he's dogging you. He doesn't care. He's just like, oh, you can hit me if you want. I can open this right in front of your face and you're going to have to like. There's nothing I can do about There's it. There's nothing you can do about it. It happens to me, I don't know, a couple of times every week. It's ridiculous. But an animation, yes. But I also think in that animation there should be, because they love their bars, Dead by Daylight, do a bar and it's a skill check. Like maybe just like maybe one or two quick skill checks when they're unlocking, right. I think would just be enough. And um, I, I, I still to this day believe, and let me know what you think, uh, that it should be personal use only. Yeah, I I think um it should only be like one survivor. Yeah, that's it. Because uh this one time I had um <clears throat> so I had no way out, right? So the gates were blocked, but all four survivors were alive. Mm. But I also had no it stacked with it. So I was able to like start like getting them, right? Mm -hmm. But it didn't matter because they had a key, so all of them just escaped in the hatch. Yeah. So I guess they should just call that perk one way out. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's good that's good um <clears throat> flashlights are personal use med kits are personal use toolkits are personal use i have no idea why a key is for the entire team because with the best swift teams one person on their team is going to sacrifice a slot and bring in a key and it's gg because you know you're not going to get that 4k and anytime after three gens are complete they can all leave whenever they like it, it right. can't it, well two of them can it's kind of be it's kind of well, bullshit. Like like I said with um Survivor, I, like when I had the key and I was just in the I was just in the basement waiting for the hatch to spawn, and it's that easy. Like you just you just wait for the hatch to spawn, then jump in. Now here's the other thing. Um, this one time I didn't have a key, right? Mm. But <clears throat> but apparently my teammate did, and they were also looking for the hatch. Mm. So both of us were not doing gens. We're we're just like uh like looking for the hatch at that point. Yeah. But he didn't know the hatch was at the basement. Yeah. So so it's it's just so boring that it's just two survivors just waiting for the hatch to spawn, or like open or whatever. You know, I feel like that gives <clears throat> like very bad behavior for the survivor. Like they'll just wait for the hatch. Yeah. It's, it's boring. Uh, what what would you what would you say is your killer main currently, or what's killers that you have in your rotation? I mean, I'm trying to play all of them. Uh, let's. I would go. I mean, well, they nerfed Strider, so I'm not playing Spirit right now. Um, <laughs> you didn't use yeah. Strider on Spirit. You didn't. <laughs> I always use Strider on Spirit. You did. Yeah. <laughs> She's strong enough. You didn't need to. I mean, honestly, it was actually hurting me more. But like. It probably would have, because now you've got to do without it now. Yeah, now that they get used to that. But I would say I do like um, I do like Deathslinger, Leatherface, nice. Ghostface, and uh, I, I'm liking Nemesis more. Mm. You I like get, Nemesis? I get, I, yeah. So. Talk, to uh -huh. me, talk to me about that. So I mentioned before the slug build I made yeah, yeah, with yeah. Nemesis. Um, I believe it was Knockout, Save the Best for Last, Yeah. Infectious Fright, and then I forgot the last one. Oh, yeah, because uh, I want to find them. Yeah, yeah, I like it. Oh, yeah, like Nurse's, Nurse's Calling, I guess. Yeah. I can, like, change, I can change that one. But uh, I picked him for the slug build because uh, he has two zombies patrolling the areas. Yeah. So that that actually adds pressure. It, like, per it kicks survivors off gens, off totems, and then, like, off healing, too. Mm -hmm. And uh so he he seems like a like like it depends on the map he like he's a pretty good slug killer if you think about it. I've I've never thought about it and that's why it's interesting hearing it cuz I'm definitely going to try this now. Um it's cuz you, you when you do this build do you actually every single time call for RCPD? Uh no, I also do like the game. The game and, uh, would be sexy. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Any indoor map. And, like, uh, one time I did the game, and then one of my uh, viewers was like, why are you playing the game? There's so many pallets, right? But once you get the tier two nemesis, yeah, then whip. he's just he's he's shredding through the fucking pallets. Yeah, that's so, the one thing I love about him. So you, you like did any, nemesis. Yeah, any indoor map, he's he's pretty insane right now. Yeah, so you, you really rate him. You think he's pretty good. Uh, only on indoor maps. Like, right. outdoor maps, he's... He sucks. I, I have really hard time with him. 
Right. Not outdoor maps. Have you heard the comparisons between him and Pyramid Head? Um, no. What are, what are the comparisons? Basically, basically, I mean, apart from the AI zombies, people compare right. Pyramid Head to a lesser. Uh, sorry, a nemesis is a lesser Pyramid Head um, with that ranged attack. But um, well, the caveat obviously here is is he can destroy pallets though, which is sexy. Right. I mean, the, the range attack, like, it destroys pallets, which, you know, uh, uh, Pyramid Head doesn't. But Pyramid Head can go through walls, but I feel like Pyramid Head's attack is a lot harder to work yeah. with. Yeah. Because, like, if you miss, then you're just fucked. For, like, <laughs> yeah. Uh, like, it's very hard to control. It's not like a... Plus, like, um, you can't, like, move side to side. Yeah, and you're using pyramid head power like Nemesis. Yeah. you can't yeah, like you, you can't strafe yeah. or anything like that. So yeah, you're kind of locked. Right, it yeah. sucks. Um, <clears throat> okay. Uh, moving on, I want to talk about Sluzzy real quick. Yeah, <laughs> uh, I, I don't want because I haven't had this conversation with Tony at all beforehand. I, I want your raw conversation and feelings about Sluzzy because you know where he's from. He's from the forums. You've seen him. Right, unbanned right. today. Which is pretty sexy, means more content for me. But what are your thoughts and opinions on Sluzzy? And uh, have you have you read his post before? I have read his post definitely. Um, so I feel like he's trolling because I I know when someone's <laughs> trolling. Yeah. So I just because it seems like he's just like like overblowing the survivor thing oh, and like yeah. overblowing the killer thing too. But like mm. I I just but like at the same time I can't tell if he's actually serious or not. So, well, as I've said, I've had many people from the Gimmicks Nation verse him come across him, and <laughs> he lie. He's a, he he's definitely he's definitely a liar. He does DC on first hook and things like that. Um, okay. People have looked up profiles, made sure it's him before they've sent me him like that. <laughs> and it, it's very funny because yeah, he he is. If he goes against a Rafe with like OP add-ons, as he says. Uh, he will DC. He will DC straight away. Oh, he's not a very good survivor. So, well, judging from the footage I've seen, I would say he's on, he's an average survivor. He's not terrible. Okay. He's not amazing. Um, if he went up against your nemesis, it wouldn't last very long. I'd say. He would probably just quit. <laughs> He'd probably DC uh, nemesis OP. Let's talk about nemesis. But um, would you be ever be open to a, to another podcast without getting Sluzzy on and you on? <laughs> No, we we could try it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna hold you to that because if I, mean, I can get it, or or we could do like a uh, or we could do like a match with him, and then I'll just we, be the killer. We could do that. So. That would be pre- well. I know how that's gonna go, but that would still be entertaining because I know you, you see might. How long not- it will last. <laughs> yeah, I, I know you don't. You're not making this a big deal, but so I'm talking about at least maybe five thousand people want to see you versus Sluzzy. Like that, well, that's, that's, awesome. that's a big deal. You've created, the, <laughs> you are this legend now. And it's really strange. It's really strange that uh, you and Sluzzy are like, yeah. It's funny because um, I also, my haircut, I, actually, I based it on the new trickster haircut. All right. Yeah. The green hair one. So you give me, um, you give me, uh, what's his name? Uh, Jonathan Byers vibes out of Stranger Things. Have you, do you I know? forgot who that guy is. Uh, he's, he he was the recent cosmetic for for DVD, Jonathan Byers. Oh, yeah, that guy. Yeah, yeah he's one of my favorite characters. He's pretty cool. I don't know. Yeah, but no, I, I based I based on Trickster though. So yeah, that's uh, cool. The haircut. I mean, you, you're liking Trickster right now, aren't you? Uh, yeah, he's he's actually pretty decent. Uh, one ver- versus one. So, but I did get fucked in Headfield. So yeah. Well, um. Yeah, well, try iridescent photo card, please. Just read it, it re- out. read it, read it properly, because a lot of people kind of missed it in the PTB, and they were like, "I don't get it." Um, yeah, throw th- throw four knives; they're exposed. One hit down. Done. Mm-hmm. Pretty good. Is it, I think it was a five last time, right, or something. Yeah, well, well, yeah, they reduced his knives by two, so I think it was one or two. Right, two, I think. Yeah. Oh, he was. I think it was eight down, so it would have been seven. That yeah, that's it. Last, so yeah, that sucked. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It did, but um, he still needs. He still needs something, and I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. Uh, I, maybe speed or something. Well, I was um, uh, so 
I know. Well, maybe like reduced terror radius or something. Yeah. Or... Yeah. Something. I like don't that. know. Yeah, maybe. Totally. Maybe more like a huntress sort of a vibe as well. With because he he has he has he has a lullaby already. He but does. Like it's, yeah. It's a... So I was against putting on uh, modern abuse with him because I thought mm. the, the lullaby actually canceled that shit out. Mm. But it's actually confusing survivors. Yeah. Because they don't they don't know where I'm going actually because they think I'm actually farther away now or I'm not farther away. That's kind of cool. I've never tried it with him. Because it's like some bell type of lullaby, mm. like bell yeah. I don't bell curve or something like that, they said. So it's actually confusing them. So like anything that changes his terror radius might be beneficial to him. Mm. You know? I think I think that's where they should go with that. Like All right, well, couple more questions about dvd um yeah. what would you do to ch- I, I, first of all are you a rank one killer i was and then i i was actually purposely de-ranking <laughs> so, <laughs> you were purposely de-ranking i was because i got tired of i got tired of stressing out over like survive with friends shit so okay fair enough so w- what kind of killers were you wor- like because it seems to me like from what i can see when you want to win a game, like 100%, mm. you just go and play Spirit like everyone else does. Yeah, actually, Spirit was actually my first... When I first got to rank one, it was with Spirit. Yeah. And then uh, after that, I stopped trying to get the rank one. I was actually trying to de-rank, and then I would just stay in rank one for a while after that. Like, yeah. even when I was not playing Spirit. I was playing, like, a, I don't know, a Twins or something, and I, I'm still not de-ranking. Yeah. So... So, I don't think I need to play Spirit to rank up, though. No, 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 you probably don't, but the vibe I get when I was watching your streams is that you play everyone. Is like, you like right. to just chill and play with everyone, but... You... I, I think that's my... Uh, um, I actually made that point on my streams, I think, yesterday, is that I'm not, like, trying to main a character. Mm-hmm. So I'm actually just playing everyone, and it's like... Like, if I main a character, I'll probably, like, obviously be better at it, but I'm trying everyone. Mm. So I'm not like as good as I should be. Yeah. No, no, no that, that's fair enough. But I think the, the admirable thing is what I'm trying to say is, is you're not just playing spirit all the time. You know what I mean? You're not just playing nurse all yeah. the time. You're actually playing killers that are statistically not amazing in, in overall. I mean, a swift versus a trickster, mate. Like, I don't care what people say. That's going to be a rough game for you. <laughs> Right, they're like, they're like, why are you camping? I'm like, I'm playing trickster. What do you want from me? Yeah, well, <laughs> like, yeah. Do you want me to look at a wall or something like that? Like, yeah, right. you're, you're gonna get all that crap. What are you? What are you like in the end game chat with survivors? Um, I noticed that. Well, okay, so I I do like it when they bitch at me, or they give me <laughs> they give me that dumbass survivor rule book saying I can't camp, I can't I can't proxy camp, I can't uh, slug. Yeah, I hate I I hate it when they say that, but I'm I'm just telling them to fuck off at that point. <laughs> so. Yeah. So you pretty much like, you love I, that sort of thing, right? Because I mean, like, what what do they expect me to do? I can't patrol gens at 110 percent speed. You know? No. Yeah. I, I, yeah. I, I, I tricks. I'm sorry. Like, yeah. I don't care what people say. Trickster has zero map pressure in in general. Just like right. like if I if I have no map pressure, I'll just camp. Yeah. Like, like he actually adds so. Because survivors are coming towards him, he actually ha- that's where he has the most pressure. Yeah, yeah. Same with like yeah. any killer, like any any slow killer. That's where they have the most pressure. Like a uh, trapper, you just trap the basement, you know. And, and that's where he he's, that. right. He's that's where the most pressure is. But it, but like to competent survivors, it doesn't work because they'll just do gens. So it's honestly the survivor's fault, I would say. <laughs> but they don't. Slazzy's they just don't like, want to. Ah! Yeah, they they don't want to admit it's their fault, so they'll just blame the killer. You know. Have you ever heard of a uh, content creator called Spooks and Jukes? Oh yeah, I was actually watching him yesterday. All oh, right, so you watch him. Yeah. I mean, he does the. Uh, I mean, I haven't. I've only just started getting into it, but he does like the live debates and things like that. What What are your thoughts on some of Spook and Jukes' feelings of the game? Thoughts. He's uh, camping Bubba Tuesday that he does. Well, what are your thoughts on all that? Wait, is it Spooks and Jukes? I thought it was someone else. Hang Spooks on. and Jukes. Who was I watching? I think it is. Yeah, I Spooks watching... and Jukes. Oh, yesterday I was watching some guy named Spooky something. 
Oh, there's like a spooky then, loops guy as well. Yeah, it's a bunch of spooky loops. I'm sorry, it was not spooks and loops. <laughs> they are very similar, and they both play DVD, don't they? So that's kind of interesting. Yeah. Well, basically, well, if you want to talk about spooks and jukes, we can. Talk. Yeah, but so you have heard of him though. Uh, no, I have heard of Spooks and Spooky Loops, though. Right, okay, so Spooks and Jukes, he has this live debate, like, every so often on his stream. It's actually kind of interesting, but he gets a lot of shit sometimes because he has that mentality of, well, because he has Survivor mains come on, and he talks to them live, and he just said, mm. you know, and they always say, like, oh, why do you camp? Why do you play Baseman Bubba? And he's, you know, he always tries to justify yeah. his answer, because he's like, why shouldn't I? Why can't I? Right, right. Like um, I I get a lot of comparison to True Talent though, but I never I'd never seen him. So like like I tried I tried justifying why I'm camping and face camping or whatever. Yeah. And like like the survivors are, survivors are like, oh, you're a True Talent fan. I'm like, I'd never seen the guy. Like I I've sp I speak to True every now and again, and um that that's pretty ridiculous saying just because I'm playing a certain way that means you're trying to be like True Talent. I mean it it, it makes sense. I mean it's not like. <clears throat> Why can't I? It's more like it makes sense sometimes. Also, you know, like just because one person is doing something doesn't mean that nobody else in the history of a video game can't do something either. That that's right. Stupid. And like, so you get like, um, so there's like a there's a guy doing flashlight saves, right? He's obviously the most annoying one. Uh, it, it would make sense to just tunnel him out sometimes. Yeah. He's get, he's yeah. getting in the way of my hooks. So, <laughs> but. That, and then, but then he's like, "Well, why'd you why'd you tunnel me?" I'm like, "You're trying to stop me from hooking your friends. Like, obviously, I would just kill you at that point." When I play, I always no. the, out of the survivor friends. You can tell when it's survivor friends. I'm pretty sure you agree with that. Um, yeah, there's always a captain. Have you noticed that? Oh, I, I call um, I call it the captain. He's the runner. He's the guy that wants to get your attention. Is it? The, is it, it, it the object of obsession guy he, he can be yeah that's a good perk yeah. for him he's the clicky click he tries to block your hits yeah, to yeah, his that teammates guy. that guy yeah that's uh, the guy you don't want to go after like i, no. I try avoiding that guy now no because it's actually oh really well, no 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 you, you go think? you go okay so actually uh the clicky clicky guy i try avoiding because he's obviously the best looper so it's actually his friends there the weaker link that's why they're doing gents, so I would go after them instead, and I would actually kill them faster than the than the looper guy. Yeah. So. You are 100% correct. What I was going to say, I didn't mean to say no to that. I was saying, no, no, okay. you're right. They're the little lambs. You want to take out the little lambs, and then right. when Clicky Boy stuffs up, though, and when he goes down, instead of them, you fucking hold onto that hook as long as you can. If you do right. manage to get the captain down, because the lambs, because, they lose control. Because they'll try it. <laughs> They'll try saving him because exactly. it, without with, without him they're fucked. Yeah, exactly. So. And then they start making really really stupid mistakes, and then you get the end game chat of the captain blaming everyone. <laughs> yeah. and, and I love those I've type had of that games a lot. Yeah, they're like they're like my teammate sucks. This sucks. You know? Yeah, exactly. And it's all because he stuffed it's, it's, up. It's very rare seeing the survivors blame their teammates though. It's usually they blame the killer. It's always the killer's fault. Yeah. And it's always the killer's yeah. fault by design, I think. Um, well, I mean, you, you have to be an antagonist. Exactly, so you're playing, exactly. You're but, playing the villain, you know. But for some reason, survivors, a lot of survivors, I find, want to play a game where the slasher is bursting them. And yet, when the slasher does get them and hurt them, they get really pissed off. It just, it, it's kind of, to me, it's very backwards. Um... Well, I think, like, a lot of the argument is that they want to have fun, right? But, like, yeah. what's... But they also forget that it's an elimination game. Yeah. It's, like, technically, when you're down, you're dead. Or if you're hooked, you're dead. Yeah. It's up to your teammates to save you. Or, you know, if you have, like, a breakable or whatever. So it's actually, you're dead as soon as you're hooked. Yeah. At that moment. So it's really your teammates actually keep you in the game but if your teammates suck then you know it's not the killer's fault you know but i mean it sucks i get it but like it's an elimination game like you don't get mad at in like um i don't know uh cs go because yeah. you died in like like a minute you yeah. know to it's... me to me i just i don't think even the devs 
know what this game is yet. And we're putting I mean, MMR in the game. We're putting, you know, mixed matchmaking. We're, we're doing... Um, yeah. I, I just feel like they're skipping a beat because we don't even know what this game is yet in, in terms of balance and everything else. Well, I feel like um, they should already address comms at this point because obviously comms are like better than solo queue, right? A hundred percent. Like a like a communicate like even like basic communication. That's 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 very huge, which is what solo those that have. So I think what they should do is they should give. Like uh, allow all survivors to have comms, and then just buff killers accordingly. That's 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 really good. I've never actually, I, I've always said uh, proxy chat from Friday the Thirteenth was a brilliant idea. Mm. It'd be really good if you could do that. But I don't want to hear people there, screaming in my face. True, you should be able to mute it. That'd be easily sorted though. But it'd be really cool if that voice comms is the only option that they have, right? And you're the killer, and you can actually hear it though. Because right, that right. would put a new element into the game. Hey, I'm going over to this gen over here. Imagine if you were the killer and you heard that. That's kind of sexy. Right. That would be awesome. I didn't like how, uh, you know, you can Jason head voice though. Mm -hmm. Like, I thought that was stupid, but. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, 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 yeah, totally agree. The killer shouldn't be able to talk. Right. But um, listen. Right. That's, that's how it should be. And, um, or what they could do is. Um, Let's see. Uh, Your original idea was really good, though. Having proxy chat yeah. and then buffing the killer accordingly. But how would you do that? Well, okay, so obviously not buff nurse and spirit, but like yeah, 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 from the ground up. I feel, I feel like uh, how would I buff the killer though? I'm, I I feel like you know making like some add-ons base kit at that point, like uh, like trapper. He he needs a sack as a base kit. One hundred percent. Yeah. Things like that. Um, maybe like give killers more mobility at that point, because like I was saying, if you don't have mobility, you're just you're just fucked. So, well, maybe just yeah, just like map tools in general. Maybe like I don't know, like just sensors or something like that. Like we need more information on the map and what's going on. It just seems like right, right. you do one gen and three, <laughs> you do one chase and two gens pop. That's usually every so match now. I was also thinking um, you can handicap Swift, right? But, like, obviously the downside is that you're getting handicapped for playing with your friends. But I feel like that's fair. Mm. Because, like, if you're playing golf and you're better than another person, you get a handicap. Yeah. You know? Yeah. You know, sumo, sumo wrestlers get handicaps. So why can't, like, you know, this really high-tier Swift get a handicap? You exactly know? right. And then that brings me to my next point. Why are we doing skill-based matchmaking then? Why? I mean, I don't think it's working right now because uh, um, it's definitely not working. Like, if I uh, I haven't played Trickster in a while, and like I was actually getting because before the buff, I was getting steamrolled by survivors left and right. Yeah. And now I'm playing skill based matchmaking, and they're pairing me with like really bad survivors. Yeah. And I'm just destroying them at that point. Yeah. Like. Yeah, I just. I, I don't see DVD ever being, you know, esports. Like, you know, it's, it's just like, I don't understand why they're pushing the skill based matchmaking. Well, like, even like esports level, they have to like add rules. So like, they have to like limit comms too, because obviously comms are broken. Yeah. Um, I don't, I don't know. I think like it should have like two, just two, uh, just two cues. So you got like casual and then you got like, like ranked um i was playing this game called like uncharted multiplayer i don't know if you're familiar with uncharted i oh, know uncharted yeah so yeah uncharted has a ranked mode right and like obviously ranked is like no holds bar or whatever yeah. so i feel like they should do that and then they should add like rewards and tiers and stuff yeah so you could play you could play casual for like you know just base blood points or you could play ranked or rewards and then i feel like killers should be buffed you know, uh, nerfed accordingly to the rank mode. Yeah. But they're left untouched in the normal mode. You know. That's an amazing... I mean, I, I come from Dota 2, so I, I know exactly what, you know, MMR is and all that sort of thing. And there is a casual mode in that. Because Dota has the fans, obviously, to, to have that, that's not a problem. But I think behavior... See that as... like I, What you're saying makes sense on paper, 100%. 
but I don't think they think that the players will be there to fill up those slots. Do you know what I mean? Well, let's see. I'm looking at Steam charts now for Steam, and they have 63,000 players online right now. And that's, that's just shame. Steam. Yeah. Right, so there's, that's not counting, like, Xbox and PlayStation and Zoom or, I don't know, whatever. What was it? Uh, uh, Stadia. Xbox. <laughs> Zoom. <laughs> yeah. Not, not Zoom, it's a uh, Xbox store or whatever. Ah, right, so, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, 60... I mean, they have enough players, I think. Do you reckon? I mean, obviously... I think there'll be enough players for like another. It would be at least like, interesting mode. to test. You know what I mean? If they do it in the PTB, a ranked and a casual game mode, I think that'd be worth their time. I mean, yeah, they could do like a test. Yeah. I mean, what, what can go wrong? You know. Exactly. Um, speaking of the test, PTB tomorrow. Well, it's ninety nine point nine percent confirmed. What do you What do you think? Who do you think's the next killer? And uh, okay. who do you want it to be? I mean, obviously, it's Springtrap. Do you reckon it's Springtrap? <laughs> no, I'm just fucking with you. Uh, it's obviously Pinhead because uh, that whole flower thing in the trailer. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. I mean, that, did you? Would you want that, Springtrap in? No, I mean personally not. I mean not not how the fans act. Yeah, I've I've heard how a lot of the acting. fan back. Like I've heard a lot of the fans can be really toxic because a lot of them are younger audience and things like that. I've personally never received any backlash from them. It would just be more toxicity, I think. Yeah, true. I mean, it's not just that, but I feel like... I mean, they're just not going to let it go, that spring trap. They said it was spring trap during the Resident Evil thing, so... Yeah, I think I think they've said that for a while now. I think people just want spring trap now. I mean, like, what's the point of spring trap? Just play, like, I don't know, uh... Just, just, just play Legion with that bunny costume. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's close enough. So. It is. I don't know. I, I think. I think they can make anything pretty cool, though. I mean, they've made. They made. They've made killers cool. They've made it work. So there's nothing in me that says that they wouldn't I be mean, able to make it work. Pers personally, though, I feel like they should stop adding more killers and just focus on what they have right now. Like, I don't even want Pinhead. I just want them to focus on the older characters. So you want them like, to they, fix they the game. Right, I want them to fix Trapper. He's obviously underpowered. Like, like there's something wrong with Trapper. Like he, like carrying one trap at base kit sucks. Yeah. So, uh, you know, just balance the game instead of adding more shit to balance. Yeah. The rumor mill is that Legion is next for a rework, followed by Trapper though. So. <laughs> so how how are they gonna rework Legion? He's been reworked enough. Like. No idea. He's gonna actually down with his power or. No idea, no idea. But Almo said it on his stream. So, Trapper, I'm looking uh, forward to a Trapper rework, though. Honestly, I probably got a Nerf Legion. <laughs> <laughs> make. <laughs> and then, make and then they're gonna nerf. The, and then they're gonna nerf the pig as well. So. Oh God. Yeah. Um. Thoughts on last last topic before we go. But um. Thoughts on mm -hmm. Survivor and Killer perks. What are your biggest problems with the Survivor perks and? What would you like to do with them? Okay, so obviously Dead Hard needs to fucking get changed. So. <laughs> like, I, I'm so goddamn done with Dead Hard. Why? Like, Explain just... why. Okay, so... I don't care about the... So it's either they need to remove the invincibility or remove the distance. I don't feel like it should have both. Right. Because, um... I, I can deal with the distance and then react accordingly, but the fucking invincibility frames is just fucking stupid. I know what you're saying. Yeah. Like, this one time, um, so I was playing Death Slayer and I was trying to bait out their dead hard. Yeah. Right? So, uh, it's that's incredibly hard to do, so I was like, I, I shoot, shot where I was predicting they would end their dead hard, right? Only to hit an invincibility frame. Yeah, yeah. Now I don't know how you know how hard it is to predict a shot like that, but it's I'm honestly harder main. than <laughs> Yeah. So so you might know what I'm talking about. If you ever hit someone with the invisibility frame. It just frame. does nothing. Yeah, it just yeah. Right. And at least give it like I don't know, like a, um the mending or something. What you're saying is because cause it does feel this way and um recently in this patch it's been a bit fucked up. Uh, you, you can Only for hit console through. Players. Yeah, you can you can hit through the invincibility part because the game can't decide when it happened. But you're saying because it has the invincibility frames and then it has the distance that you're saying just right. keep. I, I mean, honestly, I think they should just keep the distance. 
I'd be all right with that. Right. I, I feel like either keep distance and maybe like nerf the distance. Like, yeah. Like like make it like smaller, or you know just give them the fucking invisibility frame and then maybe like a small, like really tiny boost in distance and that's it. I don't mind getting rid of the invisibility frame. I don't know why. I actually don't know why that's there. I guess it is for the second chance it's, part. Right. Because it sucks with a huntress and nurse. Yeah. So like nurse, if you're blinking, nurse is horrible. Right, you're blinking, and then they just dead hurt, and then you hit that invincibility frame. And then you go when you fatigue. could just down them. Right, it's dumb. Yeah. At least give them like a you know mending or you know whatever, like you know like bar time when you hit them. Yeah. And they'll they'll be in deep wound, and then just give them like deep wound or something. Yeah. What are your you know? um what what other perks? Dead hard seems to be the top of your list. Anything uh, else? Let's see. For me, it's unbreakable, man. One one of the biggest ones. Is yeah, unbreakable. I mean. Unbreakable is annoying, but I wish, like, if I knew they had Unbreakable, it, like, that would be helpful. But I don't. That's... Like, it's usually endgame collapse is when uh, Unbreakable, like, really shines. Because, like, I'm slugging survivors yeah. at that point. But then they'll just get up. It sucks. So, yeah. But, um, I would... Uh, balance landing needs to be reworked. You reckon? I feel like... Mm. Ex well, in, like, Haddonfield. Obviously, but yeah, that whole map needs map to be here. bloody reworked. Yeah. Um. Let's see. DS is fine now. Obsession, I think, is fine. I think. I have a small problem just... with DS though in the end game. I I just honestly think it should be shut off at end game collapse once it's reached that point. I yeah. think I think it's a little bit stupid. Well, I personally I feel like the timer should start when the gens are done. Mm. Mm. And then I feel like uh the gates can't be like ninety nine. Yeah. Because I or have, they like, regress because, slowly once you're right, right, it. right. That's kind of cool, right? Because uh, like I have no, unless I have no it, there's no pressure at end game. They'll just 99 the gates, and then I can't do anything about it. Yeah, you're fucked. Someone run out, say right. for the BT, and then they'll have the door ready. Right. Yeah, I'm familiar with the stupid ass borrow time, unbreakable, whatever mm. juggle they're mm. doing. So DS at the at the fucking gate, like it's so stupid. Well, that's only if I like basically failed at my job at killing. So, <laughs> but fair enough. But it just seems dumb how like little the killer actually has at map pressure. Yeah. During a end game collapse. Final thoughts on DVD moving forward. Everything that you'd want to say, right here. Oh, well, uh, they could buff killers. <laughs> that would be that would be really appreciated. Like, I'm just so done with like well. The mentality of only playing nurse and spirit, though, is like it shouldn't be that way. I feel like all killers should be on the same level as nurse and spirit. That's all killers are feeling that too. You're not alone. Like that's what skill based matchmaking will be: is spirits and nurses at the top, and that's all we play, mm -hmm. and it's going to be boring as shit. It's really boring. Like, yeah, they should really like they should like. Just buff all the killers except for Nurse and Spirit. Yeah, bring every, you're, like, you're talking about bringing everyone up, not you know what right. I mean. Yeah, they they were at the buff solo at, at the same time, so they definitely solo do. survivor. Yeah, just give them out of uh, give them like it's, if they're not in teams, then they should have like kindred on default or something. Proxy chat would be a really good thing to bring in though for survivors. Yeah. I feel like they should just do that because they they sh they need to address comms and they're not doing it unless they have they. Nah, they they they, they their, their stance on comms is there's nothing they can do about it. Yeah, but I mean they could at least I don't know like just give everyone comms then. So. Yeah, yeah, keep then everyone they, on they an even keel. Yeah. Right, then they bounce around it. Yeah, I I do so. get what you're saying. It actually does have some merit, especially with buffing up because of it. Like, because it is, right. it is that fifth perk slot that we don't get as a killer. It, it is. Right. And it's a big deal. Right. Unless, unless you're stream sniping them on Twitch, but that's, <laughs> I, I mean, don't do that though. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> that makes, yeah, that's a pretty shitty thing. To do. Right. But, um, um, they should also like censor names or like, like, you know, to prevent stream sniping. You mean like a stream mode? Yeah, they should do that. Yeah. Yeah. Something I've never like actually that. thought about that, but yeah, I, I've had a couple of experiences now. I mean, I think that could work. I don't know. Um, oh, you know what? They could add uh, 
Oh, well, we're talking like uh, like stuff that they can do or something, or yeah, rather... man, yeah, yeah, whatever you, whatever you, whatever's coming to mind. Let's see, if I look something up real quick. Let's see. Hmm? There's a killer I wanted. I just forgot who his name was. Uh... It's not one of your posts on the forums, is it, Little Tony? No, they they could put me in the game. That'd be fun. <laughs> <laughs> so you'd be a slugging killer. Um, yeah. So I don't know. I mean, they could add. Uh, I I think Candyman's cool. Candyman's cool. Try that. Yeah. Well, he's not my favorite killer, though. I just I just forgot this killer I had, and I was just going to suggest they put him in the game, but... Is it a license? Uh, yeah, I think so. Pennywise? I don't think Pennywise would work, nah, because he he's, he's, he's he's like an interdimensional being. I'm, like yeah. the, Like the entity, so like, how does that work? He could actually be stronger than the entity. Right, so I don't... I, I feel like the... But then Pennywise would join by, like Pennywise would evade his realm instead of the opposite. Exactly. Yeah. Hundred percent. So, I don't think that would work. I mean, um, a lot of people could say that about Pinhead too, though. Yeah, but I, I feel like, well, not on the same Pinhead, level, obviously. He's he's like lesser than a god and lesser than a demon, so mm. I feel like he's, he's like. He's he's just a Cenobite, so he's not like. I guess he's yeah, not he's a, god. a race. Yeah, yeah. I would I would say uh, like the entity is like similar to a god. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh. Or um, have you seen Futurama? Yeah. Okay. There's there's an episode you would like. It's I think it's like this collector episode. This 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 uh like it's like an entity, right? It's like the entity, but he's like kidnapping like the Star Trek characters. <laughs> And he's like yeah. forcing them to fight each other, so that's kind of similar to Dead by Daylight. Yeah, I noticed. You'll have to link that to me in uh, Discord. Oh yeah, that, I mean that'd be fun. I'll well, just give me the name so I can at least download it. Um, I'm trying to think of what they should do. I don't know. I mean, besides like nerfing Swift and everything. Uh, <laughs> Classic so. Tony. I mean, maybe I want to see like something like from Dark Souls, maybe like a Dark Souls killer. Oh, okay. If that would work. I personally uh, want more original killers. Yeah, that too. I would like to see. Well, I mean, even the original killers are like copies of of something yeah. else. Yeah, yeah, but like I like, want to see. Kill Billy was. Uh, yeah, go ahead. Now you go. You go. Like Kill Billy's obviously Le Leatherface. And Trapper's know? an early inspiration of Jason. Yeah, so like even even the original killers are not that original. No, but like Death Slinger, I mean, he's just a cowboy. You know what I mean? You can see right, where they got the inspiration, right. but it's still cool. Um, uh, Trickster's uh, a Korean Joker. Yeah, so. he's a Korean. <laughs> I think everyone agrees to that. But um, he's cool. He's cool as well in his own little ways, I guess. Um, the clown is just John Wayne Gacy, I think. <laughs> <laughs> You know, mm. like I, I feel like they. Well, they need something like really original because even twins, I feel like is either a cross between like um, like Chucky and uh, like some yeah, something else like some like mutant or something. So yeah, I always I think actually of, have like I always think right, of Brain and Krang, uh, Krang from Teenage Mutant yeah, Ninja yeah. Turtles. Actually, actually, that's that's uh, what I was gonna suggest. I think they should add Chucky in the game. Yeah, right? Chucky would be cool. That's that's what I was thinking of. But I feel like since he's so small, it can't work. So you need like Jennifer Tilly's character. Yeah, yeah. And then she carries Chucky on her arm, and then she just throws them at people. But then that's just twins. So that's very interesting. Yeah. That's very interesting, that, though. I wonder. I wonder if that was maybe maybe that might have been the original inspiration. I feel like that could work. I mean, Dude, like that, if you that's have Jennifer, pretty good. Yeah, if you have Jennifer Tilly and then just throwing Chucky at people, maybe that now, was you, what, yeah. Maybe that was twins in general, like what they were going for. Right now, you could combine that with the AI and then just have Chucky walking around, you know. And then Chucky cool. can do the downing because he can't lift. Right, and then uh, Tilly would have to go and pick him up. So yeah, it's wow, basically twins. Yeah, that's just twins. It's that's really weird. Right. I wonder. That's, that's the only way how I feel like Chucky could work. You know? 
I've never had this conversation on stream with anyone. That's really weird. Really? No one's ever had that thought, but now I really do think you're onto something. I mean, that's that's what it feels like. I feel like, you know, I feel like playing Chucky than, like, playing the twins, so... Chucky would be really badass, though, to be fair. Yeah. That, I just don't know really how... Cool. Chucky can't lift, so what would happen? Like I don't know. You, you know, I reckon you're spot on, except I think they might have had another one of those situations where they didn't have the license... They wanted mm. something like that in there, so they did right. the twins. Because, I mean, obviously, twins has like some underdevelopment. Oh yeah. Like he was, he was also buggy on launch. Oh right? god, yeah. Which is which is my point that they should really balance the old characters beset before adding new ones. Yeah. You know. So, like, I I feel like they just couldn't get the Chucky thing, and then they just made twins. No. Well, that well, that's what a mid chapter is supposed to be. It's supposed to be finalizing all problems on the last killer that was released. Right. That's what it's supposed to be. But they fix then they... a few issues, and then it gets pushed on. Right, and then they do the PTB, but I feel like they don't listen to the PTB feedback. They don't listen to shit. Because so, like, like during the tr the trickster one's a good example of how everyone was saying tricks are so weak, right? So their response was nerfing the trick blades. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. Make him even weaker. So I'm like, what the fuck? Are you, like, serious? I, I still think, even though the trickster's better, I still think he's gone in the wrong direction. Yeah, I mean, now he's just, like, like he's overpowered against one versus one. Oh, yeah, he's 1v1's amazing. It's like clowns 1v1. It's really good, but your yeah. pressure is gone. Yeah. Now, you need to be downing Which, people every 20 it's, seconds. It's the, it's the same with Death Slinger, I think. Yeah, and I love Death Slinger, but yeah, 1v1, very strong. Map pressure, not there. Right, which is why I need to get the Demogorgon, because I think Surge might be effective. Surge is okay. It's alright. Yeah. yeah, I feel like maybe it needs a buff or something, but... I, I'd I'd lean more on the buff side for Surge. But, yeah. Um, but yeah. I don't, I don't want to rely on Totem Perks like Ruin. I've left because... Ruin a lot. Pop is my go-to and Corrupt now. Yeah. Because, uh, like, fucking, like, totem perks just suck at this point. And I'm pissed. <laughs> like, they're just garbage. Like, I, like, Ruin's gone in, like, 10 seconds. Mm. Like, I feel, oh, I feel like they should add, like, Corrupt Intervention as base kit. Yeah, that's been you talked know. about before. Early game collapse style. Maybe do that with totems, too, or something. Like, just have all totems blocked off for, like, 10 seconds. I'd say more. 10 seconds <laughs> 20 seconds or i don't know fix survivor spawns or give them like a grace period or something where they yeah, can't like when nothing can do anything touched. yeah well right. they were on about that early game collapse when everything is blocked um and until the killer initializes his first chase which i think is very sexy right so that would be over pretty quick with lethal pursuer so. you're right yeah that would just destroy the idea of that perk in general Right, but, but like also change that, that around and maybe get something. Yeah. I mean, yeah, that could work. Um, but other, but I feel like they have no competition, so they're just like doing whatever they want. Oh, they don't give a shit. Yeah, they're fine. Right. They just need competition, and then maybe we'll start seeing more like balances and shit. Evil that Dead game makes sense. Evil Dead game. Are you gonna give it a go? Yeah, it looks. I mean, I I love Evil Dead. So Me too. Yeah, I'll definitely try that out. Yeah, I'll be playing that. I mean, we'll see how it works because I'm, I mean, licensed games though have like really trouble stuff. So I mean, you've got yeah, Friday the Thirteenth, Predator, and now this. We'll we'll see how long this lasts. Yeah, I mean, we're already losing Demogorgon in Dead by Daylight. So and the map. Yeah, map's gone so. forever. So. Yeah. That's so yeah. Maybe we should like rely less on licensed stuff. So. Yeah, that's a good idea. That's a good idea. We should. That's what I was. That's what I meant with original. But you know, I know they don't always hit on target either. Mm -hmm. But anyway, um, if I was to get you to verse Sluzzy in a match, or if I was to get you on a podcast with Sluzzy, would you be down to do it again? Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll do it. I, I would I would love to hear you and Slazzy. I don't think he'd ever do it. Um, I don't think he would have the balls to do it. But um, keep it friendly. <laughs> keep it nice. Have a bit of fun yeah, yeah. with it. I, I don't see what the problem with it would be. Should be fun. So, 
Is there anything else you, um, you want to say before you go? Otherwise, I'm going to uh, plug your channel and... I hate survivors. So. <laughs> we know. <laughs> we know. We, oh. we, we definitely know. You are the killer main for us all on the post. <laughs> You're not going to stop the farms, are you? Uh, unless I get banned. Uh, so. why, why, why are you so close to being banned? Um, oh, let's see. I was, I was ranting too much about Survive with Friends, and then they banned me for a week. They banned you for talking about Survivor Friends. I, yeah, I said it like way too often, and then they start, They banned me for a week, and then uh, they also banned me for a month out of something out of context. Hang on, hang on, I, hang on a second. Yeah, 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 yeah. They banned. They they gave you a ban for talking about Survivor Friends too much. Yeah, I, I made like too many topics about it. Or something. So, so it's the forums. Yeah. Yeah, I was I was like kind of shocked about that. So no, no, that's not good enough. That that's actually quite ridiculous. Right, I felt like I I didn't feel like I needed that ban, but apparently I got banned. So we should have talked about that straight away, dude. That's really interesting. <laughs> <laughs> I honestly didn't think about it at the time. So yeah, I can't. Believe- How many warnings do you get on that stupid place? Like I I haven't got one warning yet. I've been pretty careful. I think I'm on my le- I'm pretty sure I'm on my last warning. So I think it's like three, and that's it. Can't you just make another account? Uh, I mean, I could. Then that will... Like, if they find out, then it'll get banned. But I kind of want to, like, just continue posting as Lord Tony. Yeah, please. You, you know? have people who it's love not, you. Right. It's not It's not the same without the actual name. No, so. no, no. You, well, you, you could just be a smart ass and just be like, Lord Tony 2. <laughs> and just <Yeah>. keep going. <laughs> and then if the devs ask you, oh, are you Lord Tony? No. I just really like no, Lord Tony. No, I'm not. Anyway, about Survivor <laughs> Friends. <laughs> no. But yeah, man, um, we're going to leave it there. It's been a really good, it's been a really interesting podcast for me. Um, I hope you have had some fun on here. Yep. Um, yeah, I did. Guys, you can head and watch him on his streams, Lord Tony himself, same guy as the forums, on Twitch, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesdays, Fridays, and Sundays. And he streams anywhere between 3 p.m. to 12 a.m. Um, mm. You will know when he's going to be streaming. Do you have a Twitter as well? No, I should really make one. You should get a Twitter for streaming. Yeah, it definitely does help. I'd, I'd definitely plug that for you in the future. Um, and he also has a ch- uh, YouTube channel as well. Uh, same name. But I'm going to put all the links in the description as well as cards for this podcast. So you can check him out. Lord Tony, do you have any other closing words before we go? Um... I just really hate survivors. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough, dude. I just dude. really hate them. So. <laughs> Fair enough, dude. Well, thank you so much for joining me. I really do appreciate it. This is the first sort of gaming podcast I've done uh, on this channel, so I do appreciate it. Mm-hmm. And I hope to have you on again in the future, maybe. Oh, yeah. We'll, we'll see what happens. I mean, unless I get banned on the forums. <laughs> <laughs> all right, mate. Well, thank you so much again for your time. I really appreciate right. it. And have, have a no good problem. night, all right? You too. All right. See you, mate. Yep. Later.